Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to another videos for MRCS exam. So here are the question. First of all, read the question very carefully and pick up the key points to answer the question. So here, a 43 years old lady is undergoing an axillary node clearance for breast cancer. The nodal disease is bulky. During clearance of the level 3 nodes, there is suddenly brisk hemorrhage. The most likely vessel responsible is the options are thoracoacromian artery, cephalic vein, thoracodorsal trunk, internal mammary artery, and posterior circumflex humeral artery. So we have to find out one of the options, uh, one of the artery, which is compatible uh, with this um, question, and which will be the answer here. So we have the key moments or key points here uh, that the lady is go undergoing axillary node clearance for breast cancer and the nodal disease is bulky clearance of level 3 level 3 limb nodes so this uh, point is very important during the level 3 clearance suddenly brisk hemorrhage so hemorrhage usually it arises from the blood vessel so what is the most likely vessel responsible first of all let's see here this is uh, the breast of a female and we can see the tumor here so for tumor of the breast usually mastectomy with the node clearance and here we can see the limb node draining limb node so the limb node also removed and there are different grade of the limb nodes and this limb node usually removed so let's see the grade or level of the limb node so here we can see this here the it is the muscle this muscle is the pectoralis minor muscle it arises from the coracoid process and inserted into the third fourth, uh, fourth and fifth ribs so here this the limb node here we can see some of the limb node just lies just behind the pectoralis minor muscle here also we can see this is the pectoralis minor muscle and just below the pectoralis minor muscle there is some limb node and they are the level two limb node so the pectoralis minor it is uh, at this level they are the level two limb node present and below this here this is the level one limb node and above the pectoralis minor the limb node group they are called the level three limb node in the first picture we can see this is the pectoralis minor muscle and at the level of the pectoralis minor muscle there is the level two limb node and below it is level one and above the pectoralis major minor uh, pectoralis minor muscles there is the level 3 limb node so during this process up to level 3 we have to reach the level 3 and here also can see the pectoralis major minor muscle lies just below the pectoralis minor muscle and in the backward here the latissimus dorsi so for, so for this patient we have to reach up to these points so in this picture we can see this is pectoralis minor muscle and at this level this is level 2 and we can see this here this is level 1 and below the pectoralis minor here level 1 so we can see this is the level 1 level limb node level 2 limb node and here level 3 limb node and we have to reach up to this level so when we get back up to this level 3 here we can see there is a large artery which may be injured and may cause risk hemorrhage so here we can see this artery and this artery name of this artery is thoracoacromian artery so when we reach the level 3 there is a chance of injury of the thoracoacromian artery and it causes bleeding here in the second picture we also can see here this is the pectoralis minor muscle and below the pectoralis minor there is level 1 here level 2 and here level 3 and at this point there is thoracoacromian artery so injury to the thoracoacromian artery causes bleeding so our final answer is the thoracoacromian artery because thoracoacromian artery it lies at the level 3 limb node and for this patient the nodal disease is bulky so here there is a chance of injury to the level 3 limb node and risk hemorrhage thank you all